The origin of cashew cultivation in India is cloudy. While historians maintain it was first introduced to the subcontinent by the Portuguese sometime during the late 16th century, archaeologists argue otherwise. Based on their studies of ancient Indian texts and monuments, archaeologists believe the story of cashew cultivation in India goes back several millennia to the time of supercontinents, that is, preceding the continental drift. Whatever the true story of its origins may be, it is undeniable that cashews and India are a match made in heaven. Among all the regions where cashew cultivation abounds in India, one small town in the state of Tamil Nadu sticks out for its extraordinary cashew cultivation culture, Pan Ruti. Known for its nutrient-rich red soil and warm temperate weather, Pan Ruti stands tall as one of India's most prosperous cashew cultivating regions. Selwi's Cashews, the pride of Panruti's cashew industry. Located in the hamlet of Muthan di Kupum, Selwi's Cashews is a cashew plantation that, in just a short period of time, has managed to overtake its regional competitors by fully leveraging Panruti's ideal cashew cultivation conditions as well as adopting crucial organic growing harvesting and processing practices. Every day, operations at the Selwi's Cashews Plantation kick off at 9 a.m. After being harvested, batches of raw cashews are thrown into the steam boiler, one after another. In a couple of hours, they're removed and left to dry for about two days. It's only when they're completely dry are these cashews deshelled. This deshelling process involves the effort of as many as 100 trained personnel. Upon being deshelled, the cashew nuts, which are pink in colour at this stage, are moved to the plant for further processing. Here they're heated in what is called a borma. This is where the cashews get their characteristic crunchiness and off-white colour. As soon as they're taken out, the cashews are water-cooled. The skilled Selwi's Cashews personnel then proceed to hand-peel the outer pink layer and divide them into different categories, namely holes, pieces, bits, butts and splits. Subsequently, with the help of a colour sorter instrument, these cashews are further divided into whites, scorched and desert classes. Depending on the size of each cashew, a grading machine separates bunches of 450s, 320s, 240s and 210s. Immediately thereafter, the cashews are packed in 10 kilogram tins and transferred to the Selwi's Cashews logistics team in large containers that hold eight tins each. Both the containers and tins are completely depleted of oxygen and nitrogen to ensure maximum preservation of the integrity, taste and quality of the delectable cashews.